A new technology makes tumors disappear in record time. It combines heat and chemotherapy in tiny microparticles. This could overcome some of the major challenges of modern cancer therapy. This is because previous methods such as the chemotherapy and radiotherapy are often associated with a lot of side effects. But by targeting the tumor with the new therapy, the researchers believe that many side effects can be avoided. This could therefore be a really big improvement in the field. Find out now how the new technology is doing in clinical trials, how it works and when it will be available for us. And with that, welcome to the German Science Guy. I'm Dr. Jakob Otton and in Germany we say Los geht's. In Germany alone, over 500,000 people are diagnosed with cancer every year. It is the second most common cause of death in Germany after cardiovascular disease. Over 230,000 people die from it every year. Cancer can look very diverse, which is one of the reasons why it is so difficult to treat. The disease is simply totally individual. A central problem, cancer is often detected too late. Although there are treatment options, they always have very strong side effects. Hair loss, skin problems, fatigue and sickness are just a few examples. This is often psychologically very stressful and can lead to anxiety and depression. The patient's own immune system is also affected by the therapy. And this is a major problem for older people in particular. Here an immune system that is already weakened by age is further weakened. And the risk of infections increased significantly. People undergoing chemotherapy are often not allowed to have visitors. And they are also severely restricted in what they are allowed to do in order to avoid becoming ill. After treatment, recovery can take a long time and long-term effects such as nerve damage or concentration problems can occur. But now the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, the MIT, has developed a new approach to cancer therapy that can minimize the side effects. We will explain exactly how it works in a moment, but before that let's take another look at what exactly cancer is. Cancer occurs when cells multiply uncontrollably and invade the surrounding area. Cancer can not only develop in tissues, but can also spread throughout the whole body or at least to several parts of the body. One example for this is leukemia. At the moment, there are already various treatment methods for different types of cancer. The most common are surgery, radiotherapy and chemotherapy. However, all of these approaches have side effects and limitations. Researchers from the USA have developed a new approach in which they combine photothermal therapy with chemotherapy and the aim is to make the treatment as effective as possible with fewer side effects. To understand the combined method, let's first take a look at the two therapies individually. In traditional chemotherapy, the drugs are given as infusions, injections or pills. The idea behind this is that these drugs act systemically, so throughout the entire body. They stop the cancer cells from growing and attack their genetic material. This is effective because cancer cells divide incredibly quickly. The systemic effects mean that both advanced and small metastases can be targeted. However, a major problem with chemotherapy is that it also affects healthy cells that are growing quickly. These cells can be found in the bone marrow, hair follicles and the digestive tract for example. The big problem here is that it's not possible to differentiate between the cells so everything is affected. Chemotherapy can therefore be very stressful. Photothermal therapy involves injecting certain substances that can convert light into heat. When a near-infrared laser is directed at it, the light is converted into heat by the material. Near-infrared laser means that it emits light in the wavelength range of 700 to 1700 nanometers. When the photothermal materials are irradiated with light of this wavelength, they absorb the energy and become excited, which means they are in a state of higher energy. Shortly afterwards, they release this energy by colliding with the surrounding molecules. These collisions cause the molecules to move and in atomic dimensions, movement is nothing other than heat, which heats up the environment and the tumor area in particular. This heat denatures, which means it destroys the surrounding tissue and therefore also the cancer cells. The advantage of this is that the cancer cells can be specifically attacked without causing major damage to the surrounding healthy tissue. The problem with this is that some types of cancer are resistant to heat, which is why the method is often combined with other therapies such as chemotherapy or immunotherapy. And this is exactly where the researchers at MIT have done combining and optimizing the two therapies. The 
method is quite complex. So let's first take a look at how it works to understand the basics. The treatment used special microparticles made of a special material that carries a chemotherapeutic agent. The microparticles are injected into the tumor. The area is then exposed to a near-infrared laser with a wavelength of 808 nanometers. This makes the material at least 50 degrees hotter and melts it. The heat causes the tumor cells to change. On the other hand, the drug used for chemotherapy is released right where the tumor is. So much about the principle of action. Technically, however, there's a lot behind it. The microparticles look like tiny cubes, just 200 micrometers in size. They're produced in such a way that they form a mixture of three components. Polycaprolacton, or PCL for short, mulibdenum disulfide nanosheets, and a chemotherapeutic agent. PCL is the base material and forms the main structure of the microparticle. It is biodegradable and compatible polymer. The PCL matrix melts when it is exposed to laser light, which then releases a drug that is inside. For that, mulibdenum disulfide nanolayers are evenly spread out in the PCL matrix. When the laser is used, the nanolayers absorb the light energy and convert it into heat. This heat makes the PCL matrix soften and melt. This also releases the anti-cancer drug. This is also spread evenly in the PCL matrix. The great thing about these microparticles is that they can be loaded with different cancer drugs, depending on what is needed at the time. This uniform structure is very important because it makes sure the drug is released in the right way, at the right time and in the right amount. After extensive in vitro tests with cell cultures, this method was applied to mice and the treatment cycle was optimized. And it looks like this. When the tumor size of the mouse reaches 100 cubic millimeters, 25 microparticles are put into the tumor with a needle. Then the mice get laser treatment at the tumor site. A thermal imaging camera is used to check the tumor temperature. The laser treatment is paused when the temperature reaches 50 degrees Celsius to avoid overheating and it restarts when it is dropped to 39 degrees Celsius. The process involves three cycles spaced three days apart. This recovery time is just right for the surrounding tissue. The total time that the laser is on is only 3 minutes for the first cycle and 2.5 minutes for each cycle after that. This optimal timing was found with machine learning. The researchers used a machine learning algorithm to develop a method for determining the optimal parameters for laser irradiation. To do this, they carried out 45 cell culture experiments in which they tested different variables. They then recorded the temperature reached in each case and used it to train a machine learning model. For the studies on mice, the model then predicted the setting for melting the microparticles at 50 degrees Celsius and releasing the drug. It was important to minimize damage to the surrounding tissue at the same time. This approach saved time and resources by avoiding extensive trial and error experiments. In addition, the method was quite successful. There are different control groups in the trials in order to be able to better compare the treatment success. The results of the study show that the combined treatment was more effective than photothermal therapy or chemotherapy alone. On average, the mice lived more than twice as long as the control groups after the combined treatment. That's pretty amazing. And three treatment cycles were sufficient for the tumor to shrink permanently and in some cases the tumor even disappeared completely. The safety of the microparticles was also tested. It showed that the microparticles remained at the tumor site over the treatment period. Targeted treatment was therefore possible over the entire period. After 40 days, the researchers also found only tiny amounts of the microparticles in the organs of the treated mice. This indicates that they are excreted from the body over time. In short, using the heat and chemotherapy together makes the treatment much more effective. Using microparticles means that a much lower dose of medication can be used. The toxic load would otherwise affect the whole body, but now it can be greatly reduced by applying it in a local way. Also, the treatment costs are low. There are just three cycles and each one lasts no more than three minutes. And it's also very easy to inject the microparticles. To give you an idea, in traditional chemotherapy, each cycle lasts between half an hour and several hours. And the treatment lasts for several months on average. At the end, also using a machine learning algorithm is a big advantage. This makes the method more effective and reduces the risk of problems caused by too much heat. However, the method is still a long way from being fully developed and also there are some problems we have to talk about in the big part of my video. This is a part in every video where I talk about the challenges of the new innovation. Before that, please subscribe to the channel and activate the bell so that you never miss a video again and also support a very young science channel. Okay, let's come to the big but, to the big hurdle, the big problems. 
One problem is, sometimes even though the main tumors have been removed, the cancer has spread to other parts of the body. Even after treatment, there are always cancer cells that are not seen. To prevent this, local therapy would have to be combined with systemic approaches. And then, of course, the advantages of local application would disappear. The tumors also reacted differently in each mouse. Some shrank much faster than others. This could be due to differences in the tumor size, location or biological factors. We need to do more research to better understand that. Also, before the whole thing can be used in the hospital, it first has to be tested in larger animal experiments and ultimately in human studies. Right now, the method is still in the preclinical phase and has not yet been used in humans. There are a number of challenges, such as ensuring safety and producing the microparticles on a larger scale. And also, all of this has to be financed because before the method is approved, a lot of research money still needs to be invested, simply because the method is still in its infancy. At the end, I have to say, this new combination of heat and chemotherapy in tiny particles has real potential to work on different types of cancer. What's particularly cool is that it works specifically on the tumor and with that reduces the negative side effects. So this is really good news and sounds very promising. But what do you think about the idea? Let me know in the comments and see you soon. Goodbye oder auf Wiedersehen, your Jacob.